Taking a look at the interest rate environment today, another big move here today, particularly when you look at the volumes in the, uh, the interest rate environment. I want to focus on the 10-year note. 10-year note right around the 125-120 level. We did see a high of 125-135 and a low of 124-290. So closing at the upper end of the range today, we continue to see this rally persist in the 10-year as the uncertainties around the globe are becoming more and more pronounced and we're seeing equity markets and volatility and some selling pressure continue across the board in the equity markets. So when you look at what's going on here, I think it's very interesting as we look at that June contract, we're seeing it basically going to new highs here for the, enti for the entirety of the contract when you look at the 125 spot, 135 level. So uh, those yields now are pushing down to levels that we have not really seen in uh, about uh, almost just under two years. You have to go back to October of uh, 17 to see uh, yields at these levels and look, currently you're looking at the 10 year yield around the two spot, two, six, four level. Another thing I wanna point out though, in today's move specifically are the volumes. Big pickup in volume today, folks. As we come through off the three day weekend, we're seeing significant volume both in the June contract where we're seeing just under 4 million contracts traded today, but you go out to September and we are seeing some rolling now positions into the September contract. You're looking at just under 3 million contracts trading in September, all told 7 million contracts on those two uh, forward futures. So, you know, again, there you're seeing money flowing now, significant flows into the bond market as we continue to see the equity markets wobble here. Also, another factor I think influencing the 10 year note today is the yield and the performance of the German. 10 year. Uh, we're looking at a German 10 year right now, actually at the most negative yield that I've, I can remember in recent history, and you're seeing it down about a uh, negative yield about uh, 0.16. And we're continuing to see that play out as now we're seeing uncertainty in Germany. It uh, looks like uh, there's some issues with uh, the handoff there with Chancellor Merkel. Also, we're seeing uncertainties in the EU and the Brexit situation, what's taking place in uh, Britain as well. It's all, I think, being factored in to the dynamics and the growth prospects over there. And we're seeing that ten German tenure pushing to new negative yield lows. And I think that's another factor today why we're seeing these big volumes here uh, in the States on the uh, tenure note and we're seeing yields now to levels that we have not seen in almost two years around that two spot two six level.